Renowned Ukrainian theologian and historian Ihor Kozlovsky recalls the life of terror in captivity and of hope about the future. He was detained and imprisoned by Russian-led forces in Donetsk in January 2016, accused of spying and of storing ammunition. Now back in Kyiv, after being released last December, he calmly talks about his experiences. He says in the dungeons, after the tortures, shootings and the so-called Russian roulette, they left you one by one with the wall. But images still appeared in my head, and later I just transferred those pictures onto pieces of napkins. While imprisoned, Ihor chronicled his thoughts and feelings in a notebook given to him by relatives. He wrote about his surroundings and even some of his acquaintances, who later denounced his pro-Ukrainian views. This was the person who was close to me for a number of years. He knew all the events that were happening at the time. I was accused of having a pro-Ukrainian position and was blamed for imposing that position on my students, who didn't take the occupant's side. Ihor Kozlovsky was among 73 Ukrainians held in the occupied Donbass who were exchanged for over 230 fighters and sympathizers of the Kremlin's proxy forces in Donetsk and Luhansk regions in 2017. Back at the event, the room is packed. Among the dozens in the audience is Irene Rozdobudko, another well-known writer and poet from Donetsk. She thinks that powerful stories like Ihor's should be heard more in Ukraine and abroad. She says he gives clear and correct evaluations of what is happening in Ukraine these days. Even after spending two years in captivity, he has an absolutely objective point of view on the situation in Ukraine. A lot of people who were in the same situation as him have lost common sense, but he didn't. That is because he is a scientist, a writer and a poet. Ihor says it was people's support that kept his spirits up when he was behind bars. Now back in Kiev, he plans to continue telling his story of his life in captivity and of his hopes about real independence for Ukraine in the future.